During one of my browsing sessions, I clicked on a link and opened a page and boom, ads all over the place. I exited the page and tried again, but I got the same result. I had to load the page for a third time before it displayed what I was looking for without ads all over the place. Now I've heard people say that three is a lucky number, but I love simplicity. And as such, I would like a page to load immediately after I click on a link without being interrupted by irrelevant ads. The thing is though, ads have become a regular thing for internet users, and even when we set up specific ad blockers on our browser, sometimes they fail to stop the ads. It's like there's ad blocker blockers. Now, while most internet users think that ads only interrupt their browsing experience, this isn't exactly true. Ad pop-ups also cost you money. Statistics show that third-party trackers and ads consume up to 50% of your mobile data, as you can tell by the way that the ads load first and then the content loads. And not only that, your phone's battery life gets affected by up to 20%. Now you might be wondering what all of this has to do with a cryptocurrency token. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, I'm going to explain what the Brave web browser is, what the basic attention token is, and how you can even get paid in crypto to browse the internet, sometimes up to $100 a month. Now, before we get into what basic attention token is, as well as its functionalities and how you can earn some, it'll be good to get some background knowledge about the platform upon which it runs. To address the ad problems that I mentioned earlier, Brian Bondi and Brendan Eich developed the Brave web browser. Now, if you've never heard these names before, they are some of the brightest minds in the tech space. Brian was a former employee of Khan Academy and Mozilla, and Brendan literally created JavaScript and is Mozilla's co-founder. To put it in one sentence, Brave is a fast and privacy-first web browser, as well as a blockchain-based digital advertising platform that is restructuring how users, advertisers, and publishers use the internet. Let's break each one of these down. First, it is a privacy-first browser that actually has ad blockers built in and a few other features that help keep your personal information private. You should also note that it's very fast, up to three times faster than other web browsers. And this is mostly because they have a built-in ad blocker that blocks a ton of requests to other domains and resources that you don't need. Secondly, let's get to the blockchain advertising part. The way that this works, Publishers of online content earn considerable revenue, and advertisers get value for their money that they spend on ads, just like how the old traditional ads work. But these ads aren't as overwhelming, and they don't follow users around the web 24-7. In fact, if you're viewing any YouTube video on the Brave browser, you won't see YouTube ads. But I, as a creator, will still earn money because I'm signed up for the creator program and have claimed my account. As a Brave user, you can actually select how many ads you want to see, from 10 per hour all the way down to none. Now, we'll talk about later about how you can actually earn money by using the Brave browser, but if you haven't already, click that like button. It's completely free and it rewards our hard work if you're not already using the Brave browser. By the way, the Brave browser currently has more than 25 million monthly active users, coupled with over a million verified publishers. Moving on though, what is the basic attention token? The basic attention token is the native utility token of the Brave browser, and the basic attention token is simply just an Ethereum token. Its purpose is to provide a better solution to digital advertising using a blockchain model. See, traditional advertising focuses on tracking users' online data, packaging it up, and then selling it to the highest bidder. In fact, Facebook and Google are widely known for this, mostly because they have the most popular products that allow them to actually track their users. For example, you may have experienced a situation when you visited and exited a particular website, but then later you're scrolling through your Facebook newsfeed and you see ads from the same company. This is the work of Facebook Pixel, an API installed on that website that you visited to save users' data for future advertising purposes. Sometimes you even speak something and then you see an ad for it later, hinting that our devices are probably listening to us. While this may be super helpful to brands trying to sell their product, it is a serious privacy invasion and one of the many reasons why the US Senate has been slamming Facebook with sanctions. 
Basic attention token developers, on the other hand, offer a different and user-focused approach to advertising. Instead, they measure attention on the browser itself by tracking users' attention and engagement on active tabs in real time. They don't send it back to some centralized server. This gives the browser an idea of which ads to show, depending on time spent on specific content. I've been rambling about this for a minute, but to sum up the utility of the basic attention token in a single sentence, BAT is a token that advertisers pay for attention. Now, let's get into how Basic Attention Token actually works. It runs hand in hand with the Ethereum blockchain and the Brave web browser to facilitate transactions between readers, content creators, and advertisers. In fact, the token brings these parties together for a number of reasons. When content creators like me publish a post on their website or post a YouTube video like this one, advertisers offer a certain number of basic attention tokens for ad space on that content, after which they will reach an agreement based on the attention score obtained by measuring users' engagement. Now this gets a little more technical and it's out of the scope of this video, but it basically means the ads are more tailored to the users and to give the advertisers the best bang for their buck. This not only ensures that brave users see well-tailored ads, but it also improves speed, privacy, and security of the browser. Like I said earlier, the Brave browser also gives users an option for opting out of ads. However, you can choose to view ads and earn basic attention tokens through the Brave Rewards program. To put this in one sentence, if you select to view ads, you earn tokens. Some members earn up to $100 a month just by doing what they do on Chrome anyways. With this model, users only view ads that tickle their fancy and they get paid for it, and advertisers only show ads to interested customers. This creates a win-win situation as users do not get bugged by irrelevant ads, third-party trackers, or malware, and advertisers save cost as they get billed only when interested users click on their ads. Moving on, a distinguishing benefit of using Basic Attention Token and the Brave web browser is the blockchain technology which ensures that users, advertisers, and publishers do not need to depend on external servers. The platform matches ads locally on the machine while also offering constant content flow and faster downloads. To give you an example of why this is a good thing, someone could hack Facebook's database and see where you were eating last night. But they can't do that with Brave's basic attention token model. Summing it all up, advertisers buy basic attention tokens to spend on advertising, and those spent tokens are then given both to the users that see the ads and the creators of the content that the ad is shown on. It's a win-win-win, which is why the Brave logo has three sides. One for users, one for creators, and one for the advertisers. Finally, we've come to the fun part. I know you may have many questions about the profit potentials of investing in the basic attention token, and this is where I'll answer them. The token currently trades around 70 cents and has a market cap of over $1 billion. The project first launched in May of 2017 through an ICO where one Ethereum could buy you 6,400 basic attention tokens. At the time, this meant around $7.8 million worth of Ethereum bought 1 billion basic attention tokens. Another 200 million went to the development fund and 300 million tokens went to the user growth pool. The user growth pool is basically advertising funds to get users to download and actually use the Brave software. Also, basic attention token isn't inflationary. There there is a capped supply, so as the demand increases, so should the price. And although the price of basic attention token hasn't moved up in a while, there are a few factors to consider. The first factor is the project backing it. Basic attention token is supported by the Brave web browser, which currently has over 25 million users and 1 million publishers. With the solution that the browser offers, we will most likely see a wider adoption in the future, which may positively affect the token's price. Also, many advertisers have welcomed Brave's approach with open arms, meaning that the browser's advertising partners will continue to grow as a platform expands. This will likely mean an increase in ad revenue converted to basic attention token, helping to boost the price growth and stability since the token has a finite supply. As we end this video, we want to let you know that you can actually download and try the Brave web browser for free with a link in the description below. And to be totally transparent, we will actually earn $7.50 in basic attention tokens, coming from the user fund that I talked about earlier. It's a quick way to support the channel and support a blockchain project. Lastly, as always, if you haven't heard of our free DeFi for Beginners guide, go ahead and check it out at whiteboardcrypto.com where you can find our free guide for beginners, our newsletter, and a few custom tools that we've created. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, we hope to see you in our next video.